So, we're here in Quasi Space. Um, pretty much have no idea where to go. I'm kind of tr almost trapped, really. I, 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 all of these places are unknown locations. And, uh, you know, I'm just kind of flying around. Doesn't look like I'm losing any fuel, though, from going Quasi Space, which is cool. Um, so, we might as well just kind of guess randomly um, a random place to go. Let's just see where it goes. I've saved the game. I'm just going to save it again, just in case. So, you know. Might as well just, you know, have a guess. So, let's have a look. Gonna go to, I guess, that one. Let's just have a look where this goes. Hopefully it's not something too bad. And here we go. And we're in hyperspace. And where are we? Oh my god, we're all the way down in Ilrath space. That is not... That's not good. Okay, let's just load the game up again. So these portals go to hyperspace. Oh, that's pretty cool, so I guess... Uh... So hang on, do these all go to hyperspace? I guess so, they all look kind of red. They look kind of red, didn't they? There's one over here, though, that looks a lot bigger. I want to go to that one, because that one looks cool. So let's have a look, we've passed a few on the way. Do they all go to hyperspace? Oh, I didn't see any there, but... I'm pretty sure, maybe they all go, do go to hyperspace. Maybe they go all the way across the whole hyperspace map. So maybe this is like... What, hy what hyperspace is t to normal space, so this is like the hyperspace double. So, in the way of hyperspace is a quick way of ma traveling through the normal space, this may be quasi space is a quick way of going through hyperspace. If that is the case, then that'd be pretty cool. Oh, geez, it's like planet Earth. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's the Aralu. So, is this their dimension? The Maybe. No others have made the trip. This is our home world, Folly Alarophily, nestled safe in this true space eddy. The portal you pass through is a rarity, a natural point of interdimensional fatigue. We use these phenomena to speed our transit through the realities. We are wondering, have you met with the Ungar recently? We entrusted an injured talking pet into their care, and we were curious about its progress. So yet another Umgar related story, so we're going to have to go and ch definitely go and check out the Umgar. So they've got some hoaxes going on, they've got this talking pet. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Uh, so we've got a few questions. If we forget the what happened at the end of the war? Such events as this, our context is infinitely broader than yours in scope, both in space and time. Nevertheless, to please you, I shall try to recall. Yes, now I remember. Here is the sequence. The Urquan fleets have moved through your solar system, and you are defeated. Your people make the choice not to fight with and for the Urquan. A shield is cast about your world. Your people are now safe. This makes us happy. The Armada departs your star system and moves toward the remaining Alliance members. Ourselves, the Cyrene, the Yehat, and their adopted Shofixti. The Yehut and Shofixti withdraw to Delta Gornu, but they do not permit the Cyrene to follow. We are content with the flow of events, and leave the area to return here. From our perspective, this sequence of events ends here. So basically, they just trying to protect the humans for some reason. Uh, don't know why? Soon after the Urquan... But what about the Urquan? ...and imprison the Cyrene in Beetlejuice, their siblings arrive to initiate the doctrinal conflict. This battle continues as we speak. Okay, so the Shofixti and the Yehat at Delta Gorno, and the Cyrene at Beetlejuice, but the Spathy, remember, Fifo couldn't quite remember. And also this conflict between the Kora, whoever these guys are, and the Urquan. Thousands of years into your species past, we have changed things, made modifications. Uh... What? Our motives are multiple. Our desires complex. Part of what we do on Earth is for your own protection. There are parasites, creatures who dwell beyond. They have names, but you do not know them. They would like to find you, but they are blind to your presence, unless you show yourselves. The Androsynth showed themselves, and something noticed them. Oh, no okay. Now. So, oh, this, oh. this, okay, so is it the oars? So, I don't know what's going on now. So, hang on, the Androsynth showed themselves, and I guess that's something to do with those, the, them, I guess. 
So these guys know about them? Whoever they are? In a way, ignorance is your armor, your best protection. They cannot see you now. They cannot smell you. Much of our work with your people involved making you invisible, changing your smell. If I tell you more, you will look where you could never look before. And while you are looking, you can and will be seen. You do not want to be seen. Okay, so that doesn't sound good. So it seems like the Androsynth, uh, by doing that uh, bit of uh, interdimensional fatigue, or whatever it was, really managed to somehow get themselves in a load of trouble with some we call being or creature. Our ships move between these dimensions through weaknesses in the interdimensional fabric. Although many such weaknesses or portals exist which lead from our dimension, quasi-space, to various locations in hyperspace, there is only one naturally occurring portal which will transport a ship from hyperspace to quasi-space. We therefore find it convenient to generate our own portals artificially with focused dimensional fatigue rays. As a sign of our long-standing relationship with your species, we would happily fit your vessel with a portal spawner of its own. But your ship is so massive, our units would be ineffective. However, we suspect you may find a sufficiently powerful warp pod, the key element in a portal spawner, in the wreck of the Earth Corn Dreadnought on the seventh world at Alpha Balonis. Bring that warp pod back here, and we will prepare a portal spawner. For your vessel. Right, so yet another quest. So we need to go to Alpha Pavonis. Um, so we need to go there to get our portal spawner so we can go into Quasi Space, which would be pretty cool. So we need to go to Alpha Pavonis, Lurquan Wreck. That sounds pretty cool. I wonder what's there. And they've also got a talking pet, or they gave one to the Umgar, so what's going on there? How should I say? Reconnaissance mission. During one such trip, we witnessed the crash landing of an Urquan dreadnought on the surface of Alpha Pavonis 7. Normally, when an Urquan vessel is disabled, it automatically engages self-annihilation circuits to prevent other species from learning the Urquan's technological secrets. In this case, however, these circuits must have failed. The dreadnought did not disintegrate on impact. We landed to explore the wreckage and were amazed to find a survivor, a talking pet. As you may know, the Urquan used these non-sentient creatures for the task of interspecies translation, a task the Urquan find ultimately demeaning. The talking pet was severely injured, and we did what we could for the poor creature. But it grew clear that without superior measures, the talking pet would die. We turned to the Unga, whom we have known for many centuries. Their bioscience skills are far superior to our own. The Unga promised to do what they could and let us know how the pet fared. We have not heard from the Unga since. Perhaps if you are traveling through their stars, you can ask them for us. Right, so Alpha Pavonis 7 was where that Urquan dreadnought crashed, and I guess that's the uh, dreadnought they're talking about to get the portal spawner. Um, and also that's where they found that talking pet, so I guess it's one of those little weird little frog things that are in the bottom corner when the Urquan uh, talk to us. Um, back right when, at the beginning when we saw that drone, so that's pretty much what it is. happy to fit your vessel with a portal spawner, allowing you to jump from place to place in hyperspace without traveling the intervening distance. However, your ship is so massive, our normal warp pod units are insufficient. But you will find a sufficiently powerful warp pod in the wreck of the Urquan Dreadnought on Alpha Pavonis 7. Bring that warp pod back here, and we will prepare a portal spawner for your vessel. Right, so they've given us a good amount of information, Goodbye. and a new quest to go and find Alpha Pavonis 7. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's pretty nearby uh, Umgar space since they gave it to the Umgar. But the important problem is we need to get back into hyperspace in the right place. Since each of these portals seem to go to different locations. And since we kind of went through the middle one to get near to Ilra space, I'm gonna also guess that it doesn't quite correlate quite as well um, 
as true space as type space space since Ilrath space is very low uh, bottom left corner of hype space so maybe it's going to be a little bit more difficult to find out where we are so I'm guessing we're going to have to kind of save the game and then uh, reload the game over and over again to kind of find out where we're going um, so that could be a little bit of a nuisance but we'll just have a look so I'm going to save the game now randomly guess where um, Aralu space is maybe this is it ah okay that was good so we are Aralu space so it's a very small amount of space but I guess they've got a whole dimension to themselves so that's not too bad so that uh, portal is also gone again because it's the October the 7th not 17th to 20th so where's Alpha Pavonis yeah it is quite close there okay we're gonna go to Alpha Pavonis it's just up there that's not too bad so um, Let's track, plot a course to Alpha Pavonis. Go and find that Urquan Dreadnought. And then once we have that, uh, the portal spawner from it, we can go uh, back to the Aralu, get our portal spawner for our flagship, so we can go into quasi space whenever we like. Just like, I guess, what the uh, Aralu do. And then we're going to go to Ungar Space, have a look what's going on over there. Got a few questions for them. They've got, they're involved in a lot of stories right now. Um, so that'd be pretty good and we're doing pretty well for fuel but uh, I'm gonna guess that having the quasi portal is gonna severely lower the amount of fuel we use but uh, here's Alpha Pavone, it's very hot which I guess is why it crashed maybe, I don't know so Alpha Pavone is 7, so hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it's got 9 planets so 9 planets, so it's this third one in which is, oh we just missed it it's that one there, that blue one. The noble world. Probably not going to mine anything here since it's very hot. So let's have a look. Mineral scan. There's, oh, there it is in the bottom, bottom right hand corner. Let's go and check it out. I'm going to save the game quickly. I don't want to get my land destroyed for no reason. And hopefully there's no like Urquan down there. Uh, there's a few biologicals, but they're probably just random animals. Yeah, they're just random worms. Okay, here it is. Right, so we have the warp pod. Um, from the Urquan Dreadnought, which is awesome. So we can head back to the Aralu now. They'll be very, they'll be, they'll be chuffed with us. Our amazing efforts to go to Alpha Pavonis. And let's get back, save the game. Why not? Uh, so there it is, Warp Pod. We've got it. We can't use it right now, but uh, soon we'll be able to. We need to um, not load the game, we need to save the game and we'll head off to the Aralu. But first of all, we've got to wait until um, October the 17th and I don't think we're going to quite make it. So in that month that I probably have, I'm going to go mining for a bit, get some minerals and once it's October, uh, November the 17th, I'll be right back. Oh, guys, look at this. We have finally found a sapphire world. This is the last of the uh, crystal worlds, one of the rare worlds, the exotic mineral worlds. It's the last one. We've uh, seen ruby at uh, Alpha Centauri. We've seen emerald, I think, in the Vulpaculi system. I can't quite remember. I think it was, though. And finally, at Beta Sakini, we have found a sapphire world. So now you've seen all three of the... Um, crystal worlds and you definitely want to find these because they can give you some really good minerals. So let's head back out and uh, do a little bit more mining and then go to the Aralu.